the final video of the ah! <laughs> I'm back. The final video of the day, guys. This is going to be last video before I upload my um my uh video I've been working on for the past videos. I've, I, my other videos I've been working on for the past. I don't even know how long. So. Last live video right here that you'll see f until next weekend because I'm starting to get kind of tired. I just, I just remembered how tiring this doing this is, you know, trying to be entertaining and stuff like that, guys. You know what I'm saying? But it's all natural. You feel me? Um, this is the final video of the day. Uh, goodness gracious, bro. We reacted to some music. We got some anime in. We do, we doing, we doing pretty good right about now. Mm. I'm exhausted, man. Oof. I forgot how much... It, it's starting... It's hitting me, guys. I'm starting to remember how much of a grind YouTube is, bro. So... Yeah. We back. We back, boys. I'm, I'm trying to upload every Sunday. Every Sunday video. It's going to be Saturday and Sunday. Videos is going to try to be the move. So, um... Let's get it popping, Mike. Let's get it. So this is from the boy Nux Taku. It seems like a, a new series that he's doing. Biggest overkills in anime. I'm curious how this is gonna turn out. Uh, I kind of have an idea what this is gonna be about. But yeah, I, you guys know how much I, I have been reacting to Nux Taku. It's been a little bit since I re reacted to Nux. Um, I'm a fan of his. I do like his. I like his content. He makes great videos. Makes uh, funny, hilarious videos. Um, great, great stuff. Definitely a fan of his. So we're gonna uh, get on, get with this video, see how this video turns out, and uh, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. Um, yeah, man, let's see what we got, peoples. Lag. Next Taku, biggest overkills in anime. Lag. Scoop. Think best anime moments ever. I'm thinking like fight scenes, badass scenes. Yes. Like after doing a certain uh, video series that a lot of people actually liked and kind of shaped my channel into something uh, relatively uh, yeah, we, epic. Yeah, we next... say myself. I think of the best. Yeah, when you bring that back, bro. When anime characters flex on their opponents so hard, I just have to talk about them in a video. And then I was like, how do I top that? How do I flex on the idea of anime flexing? Bam, realization dawn. Welcome, I'm gentle women, people of all ages, to the biggest overkills in anime. I oh am my so goodness. proud to have actually come up with a way to top everything I've been doing in anime until this point. Bruh, I hope you're ready for not some flexes. No, no. I mean, they may be flexes. Flexing on my Shawn Michaels. Swag, 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 like Shawn Michaels. So much. Let's just get started. Got I, I mean, like this is episode Batista. one. I just thought of this, so we're, we're going to be <laughs> doing it. And you know the rule. If you like it, smash a like. And uh, let's see right, if this no, gets 50,000 like likes. Nuts, I will be working on on part two. There are 50, less overkills people. in anime than flexes, so they are harder to come across. But that said, they are actually even more fun. <laughs> oh, laugh I though, bro. This stuff. First overkill! And whenever I think of overkills, this is probably one of the top five things to pop in my mind. It's our boy Madara. Whoa! We already started out good. Hage took his man. When they hyped the introduction of Madara, we did not expect it to reach this ridiculous level. No, we like, did not. We boy, had no idea. Was Madara, and yeah, we he thought was Toby. Really he thought, on the we thought Toby was from Madara. I know he's from the Rip, but when, Toby invaded the yo, when, when they first introduced that boy Madara, and he turned up cheeks, man. Toby flexed on the five Kage, but Madara overkilled them. If you actually look at the fight that went down between Madara and the Shinobi Alliance, it was much more than just a flex. It, in fact, was an overkill. He yeah, he was drawing. He didn't have to do him like that, my boy. Hold on. Thousands of ninjas, bruh. And he. You heard him, bruh. All them ninjas out there. The boy Madara did not have to do him north like that. He was over there flexing, kicking, marking every single bad sand ninja in sight, on sight. And then he still had, and then he had the the nerve to pull up on the five freaking Kage, and he said, "Who y'all trying to dance with me? Y'all trying to dance with me or no, nah, bruh? Madara." With, with a straight smile on his face saying, let's dance, B. Let's dance. Beat them all with Taijutsu. Now, I would say that bro. since, as and we know, know these Edo are elite sand ninjas, bro. Chakra, they ain't no the push around, around my boy. Horace man and guards are telling you. the meteor without worrying about chakra preserves. One meteor would have wiped out that entire army of ninja. Even Naruto can handle I'm going to beat bro. them up with Taijutsu. 
jumps there, and one of my favorite scenes in all of Naruto is him just pulling red shirt characters that we will never see again, because presumably Madara does a really good job when he tries. Now, I would say that yes, Madara sir. attacking all of these men, and women, Madara don't judge, Madara is a true advocate for gender equality, he'll beat up men and women, oh, he doesn't and care. Respect Madara, he, he likes Madara no guys, for but this mad lad fought them with taijutsu, now that is a huge flex, I appreciate exactly. the massive he flex that no Madara showed jutsu. us all, but you want to talk about overkills, that's fighting. He was toying with them and yes, way he wasn't, further bro. than he needed. He was he not rapping with the five Kage, man. He did not need and this And that's not what gives you the juicy Kage. Drop that freaking meteor on my boy Onoki, my dude. I think that one of the biggest flexes in all of Naruto. Yes, like and, and one of the greatest Kage, moments in anime right, guys, history, too, not for to mention. a good few minutes until this point. You just let me know. Do you want all of my wood clones to also make Susanos or not? To which uh, the Kage all collectively no cap because that is a terrible idea for them. <laughs> they were having hard enough time with the one clones without the Susanos. Damn it. Yeah. Topple on one of the most broken jutsus in the entire series onto every single wood clone. Yeah, that might have the problem. Mother is suggesting to the Kage that they should let him know if he should use the Susanos. That's a huge leg. Overkill is when he used perfect Susan. We all know very clearly that if stupid little Madara would have gone the wood clone Susano route, and remember, he has infinite chakras and Ido Tensai, he would have had absolutely no problem just manhandling and fodderizing the Kage. The fact that he went the extra minute to say, oh yeah, you know how uh, Uchiha are broken because we can make these massive uh, skeleton monster Susano guys? Yeah. What if my Susano made a Susano, which I like to call perfect Susano? Yeah, bro. That it's, uh, was it's overkill. Not, bro. He it's completely just... demolished everyone in a second. He did not need to go bro, that far, but he did that. literally deflect on them. That's right. Overkills are indeed a niche he didn't, variety exactly. of flex. He, was, bro, he did not have to do what he did to them, often, man. He so beautiful. But again, I do not want to spend this entire video just talking about Madara's overkills. I don't want to talk about some other overkills as well. And fam, uh, I'm just getting started, bro. Because another overkill was definitely Jason versus Kaneki. So, you want to hear a huge flex? One. A huge flex is me telling you that Tokyo Ghoul Season 1 is 2, and then subsequently telling you that Tokyo Ghoul Season 3, Season 2, and Season 4 are all garbage in that order. No cap. <laughs> there. Just flexed on in the entire Read the manga. Tokyo Hold Ghouls, up. Who mind Read the the, the manga. I hate to be that guy too, but read the manga. It's this better. Is so the manga Jason, though, for bro, the manga for Tokyo Ghoul. Let me turn me up on the headphones. Turn me up on the headphones. But hold up. Turn me up on the headphones. Turn me up on the headphones. Hold up. Hold up. Turn me, up on the turn me up on the headphones. Turn me up on the headphones, right? Yo, the manga for Tokyo Ghoul Re is ten times better than the freaking anime because for one, Tokyo for one, I forgot who um was doing the whole. I forgot what studio anime studio company was doing season three, season four of Tokyo Ghoul Re. I forgot who was doing it, but they did. They left out so many important parts from the freaking manga, my boys, my dudes. They left out so many important parts, key moments too. They left all that out. In the freaking an uh, in the freaking uh, anime, my guy. I don't know. I think Studio Perry uh, did uh, so. Yeah, I have Studio Perry that did season three, season four of Tokyo Ghoul Re. In fact, yeah, yeah. So like season one, Tokyo Ghoul, season one, season two, watchable, great stuff, loved it. But Tokyo Ghoul Re season three, season four. I rec listen. I hate to be that guy. We'll just read the manga. The manga elitist. I hate. I, I'm. I hate to be that guy. I'm sorry, but. If you want the full experience, the full great experience, I recommend the Tokyo Guri manga. It's freaking amazing. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Kaneki to Back get his to just it. desserts. He fought Jason. He was doing a bang up great job. He was destroying him. And after beating Jason, yeah, he was he had in. absolutely no chance of survival. And it was all over. Kaneki went the extra steps to really make him feel defeated. As Kaneki walks up to him and starts hacking away at his body on the ground and he's writhing in pain, Kaneki says, Yo, bro, what's a thousand minus seven? The very same torture mechanic that Jason used on Kaneki. Now, this is a huge flex. The overkill is yeah, a no, wild that was crazy, Jason, man. this absolute monster psycho serial killer. Absorbing while him, he's bro? counting oh in the gosh. same torturous fashion that, that he forced Kaneki to do right before. 
before, Kaneki gave in to his ghoul side and ate him alive. That was overkill. Next overkill! This is... Dudo Monster Kado! I think we're all familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, course, an anime about children's original. card games fighting the world and potentially one of the most realistic plot lines of all time. Yeah, we're, we're on the same page here. So, in the Orikalkos yes, arc, which was arguably the worst arc in the history of original Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi was up against a little known character called Oh yeah, I hated this, bro. I, uh, I, I, I remember this arc, bro. I, I was not a fan of this voice arc at all, bro. It was so lame. It, was so, it wasn't Ask like... The pacing was really bad, but there was some, like, some was... good moments, okay. though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm easy going like that. I don't mind humiliating myself. That's basically what my channel is. And yes, I know I promised to do an anime voice impression video, and I will be doing it live on Twitch, so if you'd like to follow me there, that would be amazing. Link in the description. But anyway, Yugi was fighting Weevil. Everything was great. They were playing a card game. Of course, you know, it was one of those typical card games, like we've all played in the past. We've all played Yu-Gi-Oh! for each other's souls. I mean, that's basic fourth grade Yu-Gi-Oh! Am I right? And of hey, course, I all the time was obviously I was winning grade. because, well, he's Yu-Gi. And let's just say we head into overkill territory really fast. He comes up with this ridiculous combo that makes absolutely no sense. But that's okay. It's not like a story about card Yugi. games should actually follow the rules of the card games or anything. <laughs> right? Anyway, he activated a card, Heart of the Underdog or something, which allowed him to continue drawing cards. And every time he draws a monster, his monster can attack once again. Pretty typical stuff. It's absolutely garbage card because every time I've ever used it as a kid, I've always drawn a trap card. <laughs> But anyway, it worked for Yugi, and every time he would draw a card, he would attack again. Even once Weevil's life points hit zero. He was so infuriated by this little pest of a character. Even though every attack on your opponent's life points with your hologram does actual damage to his nervous system or something. I mean, you know, again, typical fourth grade Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, you're both sitting there, chained to a table, dueling, where there's one big guy behind each player. Every time you do damage to your opponent's life points, the big guy behind him just whacks him with the head of the club. I'm sure yeah, I know, all just doing all this. I'm not telling you anything new right now. But anyway. Uh, Every time he would draw a card, Dudo Monster Cardo! So he gets another attack on Weevil Underwood, and he continues hacking away at him again and again and again, and his rage consumes. Since at this point in the story, the Pharaoh lost Little Yugi, and even though Little Yugi sounds like a nickname for the Pharaoh's penis, I in fact <laughs> mean just like a shorter version of Yugi. <laughs> Although it would have been a massive twist if, in fact, Little Yugi the entire time was just the Pharaoh's penis. I would have been way hey, bro, into, what? into that as far as the story goes. No, into that as far as the character. You know what I'm talking about? about and even if you don't you'll probably make me regret what i say anyway so point is this was massive overkill the fact that he kept attacking him even after he won just to continue inflicting pain through the power of holograms drawing another card and another card every single one being a monster card again and again and again continuously flexing on poor little weevil but this wasn't just any mere flex this was an overkill weevil was done and he still had to attack him another 10 times literally to vent i think overkills in anime is basically attributed to either a massive flex for the sake of hyping your own ego or using your opponent as your personal therapist venting your frustrations on them very and cool just take anime, it to a whole extra a level it doesn't even need to be taken to bro if you're ever really stressed i never about understood anything, it man the best never way understood to take it out probably that never will is go to the basement of your local walmart to the cage matches that take place every tuesday night at midnight and have yourself a fun dandy time wow is it just me or were my really jokes on point today i don't know definitely don't answer that in the comments thanks for your support because i couldn't just like talk about overkills and not talk about jojos a am i right we've all seen jojos we all know which scene i'm talking about in fact you all probably don't because there are so many <laughs> but i've selected this one it's a little uh little known fight between jodaro gujo from jojo's bizarre adventure part three and his little battle against this rad bastard named steely oh he bring Let this one this, he's going way steely back man, okay he's like take me back take me back take me back take it back take it way back he's taking it way back bro this is no pun intended is a liar or someone who just happens to really be Ooh, freaking I know you love them when coming up with puns all the time, which is more believable to you. That's right. Right, flexing on people that say no pun intended. Of course, the pun was intended. Freaking douchebags. Anyway, a little bit of a uh, backstory on the wonders of Steely Dan. Steely Dan, bit of a dick. I think we've already mentioned that. Deserves a beating. Yeah, yeah. We already covered that pun. Point is, his stand of power seems very underwhelming. It's just this really small stand called the Lovers. Some people pronounce it Lovers. <laughs> wrong. And this really tiny stand flies in through the ear of Grandpa Joe Star into his brain and can kill him at any point in time. So when they locate Steely Dan, Steely Dan's like, I fam, uh, I could kill grandpa. Like, 
right now, no problem. So you kind of have to do everything I want you to, or uh, Grandpa will die. So right, he was, oh man, he was on him, bro. He, never said, let he was like, yo, you ain't got a Can't choice. You got to do what I say. You keep that joint pushing, bitch. He had Jotaro do some really shady things that got him really humiliated in public. I mean, humiliation in public is probably one of the worst things ever. Not that I would know about it. It's not like I'm humiliated in public daily to have experience with the matter. It kind of sucks, low key. But like, he made Jotaro do some really disgusting things just to stop over his dignity. And when I said stomp on his dignity, pun was intended. Yeah. He made Jotaro <laughs> yeah, yeah. a bridge he over his a dignity, little bro. ravine he just, he type took thing it. that he can walk bro, over his, his strewn identity, bro. Look body what he did just to my boy Jotaro, bro. And Jotaro supposed to be old. And Jotaro doesn't, doesn't take crap from no one, bro. That's just one small example. He doesn't roll over anybody, man, but walked over my man. I would like to say that getting punched in the face was absolutely warranted. And it happened. Like a thousand times in the blink of an eye. It was beautiful. Basically, at the end of the arc, when they managed to yoink his stand out of the brains of Grandpa Joe Star. Jotaro had no reason to hold back. Jotaro just turns to Steely Dan and was like, Oof. Ah, oh, I ain't going to work. Way to so tear much. his okay, that's not exactly up, what he bro. said. I'm kind of ad-libbing a little bit, but you got the idea. He was pretty happy with the turn of these tables, and Steely Dan was not. He messed so up, he bro. He got too Steely Dan, excited, bro. He right got too excited, bro. He got way too excited, bro. I completely bro. surrender. Please give up. And Steely Dan did say that because he's not out of his right mind. Jotaro then turns around because he's not going to beat up this defenseless <laughs> Defeated. Broken man. Right? 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 Steely Dan, turns out, whoa, my hypothesis was right. In fact, he is a dick. He pulls a little knife out of his pocket to try to take down Jotaro. Uh, don't try to take down Jotaro, fam. That never works. Never works, Anyway, Jotaro obviously never. is not going to get caught off guard by a little knife and uh, proceeds to continue to punch him. And he doesn't just punch him once, not just twice. Punches him like a good million <laughs> times. <laughs> Out of him so much, he sends him flying and breaks down the wall of the house he crashes in. But the beauty is, he kept punching even after his opponent was defeated. He arguably kept punching after his opponent was already killed. Yeah, I know he was already done with it. He still kept on going. Just kept on murking him, bro. I can beat the crap out of this man as much as possible. And the beauty is, after he was completely easily one of my favorite moments. And I am just Jojo Boy in anime, my boy. And the receipt is blowing in the wind, like like everything was just set up perfect. One of the greatest experiences of my life. And it's a reason why everyone should be watching JoJo's for amazing overkills like this. Now, yes, I sir, tell them not to tell how it is. Fifth overkill! The fifth or kill! Now, that sounded really stupid. No, Tatter, please cut out when I said fifth or kill sounded really dumb. No. And now we'll be talking about Seiya from Overly Cautious Hero. Now, Overly Cautious Hero is my favorite isekai anime to come out since Konosuba, and it is absolutely hilarious. Ah, you know how the generic Konosuba isekai thing. world is? There is a goddess who sees the entire fantasy world is in danger. I've never seen the this anime. I've never seen this Summon forth a hero who happens Konosuba, to be some loser like from our real good. world. But gather a harem, become I've overpowered, face the demon king, and destroy him. Well, this is the very same good. generic formula, but it was kind of making fun of the whole thing, which is a huge flex. The hero that they call is this guy named Edison Seiya, and me. the reason why she calls Seiya is because his stats are, like, ridiculously high. Nothing could go wrong with a hero who has stats so ridiculously high, right? <laughs> uh, what the heck, yo? I love that show. So weird this show's called The Overly Cautious Hero because this mad lad is gonna make sure he's gonna win a fight when he gets into that fight. Before even going into the fantasy world, he stays in the goddess's purgatory-type place to just work out for days. He has the goddess bring him food, and she's flipping out because she wants an adventure, and this guy's just too Doing sit ups and squats. The mad lad does this for so long, he levels himself high enough to not need to worry about anything he comes across. When he actually enters the fantasy world, man, to say this guy's ready, that's an understatement. But he goes to buy armor, and of course the goddess is like, I'll buy you your first set of loot. He's like, perfect. I would need three armors, one armor to wear, one armor in case it breaks, and a third armor in case I lose the second armor. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is hilarious. I love Seiya. As far as Isekai protagonist goes, he's one of the tippy top, and potentially one of my favorite protagonists the last year. Anyway, the first enemy he encounters on this journey is a slime. You know, typically the lowest level monster you could actually find. And it was. The slime absolutely sucks. And Seiya walks up to it and it's just like raining hell down on the poor thing. Dang. So first, when they see the slime, he jumps behind a rock to like peek at it from distance to make sure it doesn't make any sudden 
fucking moves. Like this little stationary blob. And the goddess is obviously flipping out. When he actually fights it, he kills it in one second. And then proceeds to unleash his entire magical arsenal upon this slime. Raining down literal hell upon right, this dead right. slime to make sure it can't right. regenerate. By the time he's done overkilling this slime, there's a massive crater in the ground where this slime used to be. Overly cautious hero is absolutely hilarious. It's what if you actually played isekai game smart and well <laughs> sometimes yeah, it takes I mean, smart to play, yeah. streams because Obviously, I don't know if it's necessary but that's what makes it an overkill because how, how, how how when he ends up fighting one of like the ultimate demon general guys he does a great job with that as well now I'm not spoiling anything past episode 2 because I highly recommend you people check it out since I know it was kind of an underground anime. Man, I do not envy his opponents. This guy was hiding his levels from his teammate, so his teammate, in case she would get mind read by some enemy villain, would see his true levels, so he actually hid his strength from her as well. And even though he had enough stats to actually take down his opponents, he still left in case the opponent was also hiding their stats. <laughs> this guy thinks of everything. And it's hilarious because he's so often right. And when he eventually defeats this demon general, Whammon in a very flamboyant fashion and the entire village is coming to him with like gifts like oh my god you're so amazing you've defeated enemy general demon Whammon <laughs> and they're like I want to praise this guy he's like everyone don't come near here I don't know <laughs> maybe <laughs> she'll regenerate and he proceeds wow, to rain man. hell upon the corpse of demon Whammon not until there's nothing left no 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 until he actually destroys the entire town Yo, he was fighting not to protect just for the sake of overkilling his opponent rapping. for the sake of cautiousness it Yo, is like so I'm funny. Born, I bro. love this show. And the fact like that he goes out of the way to overkill like any opponent he That's comes cold. across and That's immediately cold, duck bro. back into the goddess like dimension that. to do more push-ups. Man, that is some next level skill right there. And this is the entire anime, Tiny but not that it repeats brain. its gags. No, no, no. It makes its gags bigger. This anime flexes on every previous episode by how cautious he is and why it actually makes sense I somehow. Man, Man I recommend so Overly Cautious Hero to all of you if you're looking for a quick 12 episode anime to just binge. Because it is a lot of fun, and no one talks about it. But anyway, these so, were five uh, that's pretty why I never heard of it I have because, a few more uh, in store in case you all want me to make a part two. So if you do, like button, you know how to use it, just click it and it turns blue somehow. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. But when it turns anger, blue, bro. and when it turns blue by like 50,000 people, biggest overkills in anime part Yo, two will be out with the my boys. And let's just say, I didn't exactly use my best material for this video. <laughs> I've saved Yo, some really good ones for the next like one. That, so, bro. again, overkill that like button. Smash subscribe if you haven't yet and you want to see future videos where I talk about anime, I talk about whatever I really want, and I proceed to flex on the entire internet with my glory. Thank you all so much for staying until this point. Let me know in the comments future overkills in anime you want me to talk about. Hope you enjoyed this new series trying to take anything to the next level. Link to my Twitch and Twitter in the description. Feel free to check them apples out but most importantly remember to stay weird man. Yeah, shout out to the boy Nux, but i'm signing out as well guys but that was a funny and amazing video a lot of great moments i love that i'm glad he went back to man a lot of great moments from the different like jojo naruto freaking Oh uh, man classics 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 but i didn't i'm not and it was i forgot i forgot the other ones that he showed uh naruto jojo Yu-Gi-Oh. I forgot the last, I forgot, well, this one we just, saw, the fourth one I forgot, but yo, great freaking video, uh, hope you guys did, you guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video, uh, like I said, I'll try to upload videos every weekend, I'll try to, and uh, if, I, if, if I, I'll probably upload a video throughout the week as well, we'll see what, if there's anything crazy going on, I'll let you guys know, see you guys, and I'll be rocking, but anyway guys, I'll see you guys in my next video, stay, stay, stay fresh, your boy Maj Marcus, and uh, yeah, bye, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we out peeps, alright guys. Blowing up, blowing up, we blowing up, we freaking, whoa, whoa, here we go.